Well, good morning, Striders. How are you all? Bet you're not as happy as I am. I'm, um, I'm off to see Andrew again, would you believe? Uh, if you remember last time I stood here, back in March, we had uh, snow coming down. I was wrapped up with a scarf and everything. Now look, beautiful day to be leaving England. My garden's looking great. So I do get to miss that a little bit, but there's things to do in Tenerife. Uh, lots of vlogging, I think. Andrew's got things in store for me. Um, we've got to try and sort this bathroom out still hanging over me I've got a little bit of work to do with the notary so it's not all pleasure okay it's not all pleasure not what you would think anyway I hope you've all had a, a great day yesterday found the coronation absolutely fascinating thought I would be bored stiff but I just got sucked into the whole ceremony and the whole uh, it was just amazing that centuries of of uh, crowning our kings and queens and all the paraphernalia that went with it. It was absolutely awesome. And as for our armed forces with the show, what can you say? I mean, we just, whether you're a monarchist or you're not, you cannot argue that we put on the best pomp and pageantry that the world can ever, ever witness. It was just amazing, the sight up the mile and everything. So yeah, I thought, oh, I'll have a little watch, you know, just see what's going on. I like to see the, and next thing I'm just glued to it with my cup of tea and there you go. So yeah, so the bank holiday continues. Uh, I get to Tenerife about seven, eight o'clock tonight. Uh, and we're going through, yes, you guessed it. We're going through John Lennon Airport and uh, Lizzie's about to come out the door, I hope, and uh, take me there. So I'll, I'll take you through the day, show you what's going on at Liverpool. And then um, we'll have a good one and we'll have a good time when we're in Tenerife. Andrew's got things in store for me, eating, adventures, whatever, you know. So uh, do stay tuned. I'll see you in a bit. Well, we arrived at the airport. This lovely lady, isn't she lovely? <laughs> hey, gave me a lift, taxis, night services, yeah. lovely, on time. And we've got here, um, there is half a dozen cars in the car park. If I can show you behind me, Lydia's just said to me, are you sure I've got a flight? <laughs> hey. Nobody here. What would you do if I didn't? And have to come back with you? No, I'd find a different place for you to go on, believe me. <laughs> you probably yeah. I'd send you to anywhere. Manchester, somewhere I'd like that. You You'd even send me Vimer just to get rid of me. I wouldn't even no. necessarily oh. send you to Tenerife, just that, anywhere. I tell you, guys, what a wonderful wife I've got. <laughs> Letting me go out to spend some time with Andrew. It's uh, it's a lovely day to fly. I wish you were coming with me. No, you don't. <laughs> I do. I do. No, you do. I do. I do. I do. No, I do. No, no. Well, I've got to go and face the crowds in there now. Yes and get through that f***ing terminal, it's a nightmare. Security's yeah. gonna be rammed, I'm, I'm hoping the managements are there to see, do they know M to the G is coming through? I know. Let's see. Well, I'll go in the airport, pay goodbye to Lydia, I'll be in touch with you, honey. Promise. <laughs> I'll see you in the airport. Bye for now. Bye, guys. So, Lydia's set off, dropped me off. I feel a bit lonely. I just feel a bit lonely. I can't believe how quiet the airport is. Having said that, on the way in on the radio there, our Eurovision week kicks off today. Um, and they're expecting there's a concert going on to launch it. The opening ceremony is tonight at 8 o'clock. And they're expecting 30,000 people down by the waterfront there. So it's going to be a heck of an atmosphere. Fabulous for the city. But I'm just wondering if that's, if that's where all the people are down there. They're all down at the waterfront. And I wonder if the flight's even going to be full because the airport is so quiet. So I'm going to go through security now. I can't take you through that bit. Um, oh, I'll take you through the check-in. I haven't got a check-in. I've only got a carry bag. Well, we'll see how quiet that is. Then through security and then uh, a tea and a coffee, I think. Mellow birds if I can get it, but I'm not holding my breath there. I'll see you inside. Well, if I had a suitcase to check in, I could be waiting hours, couldn't I? To actually get it checked in here. Ridiculous absolutely rammed chock-a-block unbelievable but thankfully 
I haven't got a suitcase to check in. I'm going straight up to security. But what? I mean, it was quiet that Wednesday. Remember when I flew out and I took, I think I took a great big picture of Tenerife with me that day. Uh, it was quiet, but this is especially quiet. And I can't say I'm complaining either. It's just lovely to breeze through. So once again, John Lennon Airport, thumbs up to you, you know. Um, it just doesn't get mad, mad busy. It's lovely. Right, I'm through security. Can't film through security. I don't expect it to be busy. I'm glad I didn't buy a fast pass to go through security. That would have been a waste of a fiver. And then uh, we'll see what it's like the other side. And all the bars and the cafes. Let's see if I can get myself a nice, um, a nice coffee. A nice coffee. I'm not drinking going out there. I'll have a drink with Andrew tonight. So, see you through security. Well, it's a lonely walk down to the security area. <laughs> just look at this. It's amazing, isn't it? Amazing. I'll just give you a little view out the window here. Here we go. And there you can see our lovely River Mersey in the distance and the Wirral behind it. And yet the airport is especially quiet. But as I say, would you complain? Not at all. And there's fast track here on the right. Mm. Do I need fast track? No, I don't. Well, I've come through security, which was um, an absolute doggle. Uh, it was just like the, uh, the, the check-in hall, basically half a dozen people, maybe 10. Come through this side, it's a little bit busier, still very comfortable. Lots of chairs, lots of seats, easy for coffees, beers, whatever you want. And um, I'm gonna settle down and have maybe a, a coffee or something. Being and bought me papers to read on the plane. It's just, it's just pleasant, it's just as ever. I met a night strider coming into the airport uh, who spotted me and a lovely family over there with two boys who spotted me and the two boys now, they, I was telling them about the UFO that, that Andrew and I he took me on, that bouncing mattress thing on the ocean. So um, the little fellas are now they're having a look at that because I've said they will love it. But I told the dad, don't you risk it, don't you risk it, let them go on it, I tell you. So yeah, so it's coffee time, and then hopefully, looking at the board, we're on time. And then um, I'll be jetting off to Tenerife, can I believe it? How lucky am I, guys, with a wife like mine, lets me go and see me son, have fun in the sun, hey? Can't be bad. But yeah, I've got, we have, there's one down here. Uh -uh. We've got to watch Everton on Monday night. Yeah, that'll be painful. That'll be painful. Andrew and I are sweating cobs over that. But we'll be there, jeering the blues on. What did he say? It's not over till the fat lady sings. And she hasn't sang yet. Three games left, we could still stay up. So I'm hoping that. So I'll see you when I'm, um, probably when I go to the gate, I've got to send a few texts to the family and uh, have a coffee. So I'll see you in a bit. Fancy a coffee, Andrew? Into Starbucks there? Just taking you down this far end of the terminal. 
a lovely walk can't be bad and on my right here is a little beer house could get a coffee in here i think if i'm lucky Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some lovely people hey it's lovely to be recognized thanks to andrew now where shall i sit I wonder if they do serve coffee. I'll have to go and find out. Well, here we go, we crossed the tarmac. This is the exciting bit now, we're boarding. River Mersey in the background. We're off to Tenerife. Can't wait. Can't get an answer from my boy, like in Tenerife, is he going to pick me up? Just let me get a taxi to the other end. You know, what, what's he like? You know, hey dad, sort yourself out. But here we go. He'll be there for me. I know he will. I'll see you for takeoff. How's that? There we are. We're just boarding. It's um, past two. Due to fly out at 20 past. On the plastic side eye. Already. The usual lovely, smooth. Everything about John Lennon just oozes like, you know, smoothness. And if Carling made airports, it would be John Lennon. So uh, I'll, I'll film it. Criminal offensive side eye. And then um, I'll keep you informed of what's going on. Maybe not a lot. I won't get a good view of Tenerife going in because I'm on the wrong side of the plane. But um, if anything happens that's like of interest, I'll be there to film it for you. So. Uh, Stand by for takeoff, hopefully in uh, 15 minutes. Any hours later. Just flying over. I can see the golf courses. And there is San Miguel Marina, where you can do the ocean carts. Over Amarillo Golf Course. out to my right Amarillo Golf Course and then Golf Del Sur Golf Course Oof. we're rocking and rolling here it's it's a that it's a fair ride fair ride riding here we go wing one way down the other We've got some crosswinds as they call them. Here we go, there's the runway, it's now in sight. Come on guy, put it down, put it down. Nice and gentle. Here we go. Oh, go on, on the floor, now. <laughs>
hope you enjoyed yours, and we look forward to welcoming you on board again soon. Ryanair, low fares, made simple. I have to put that in, guys. I have to put that in. Well, oh, this is the bit I hate now. We parked up at the stand. We, um, well, it's not a stand because we never ever get a stand these days. It's always the bus up to the security. And then um, it's now the big scramble to get your 10 kilo case and your bits and pieces and try and get off. But there's no point in rushing because the bus, there's two buses and they're not going to leave until those buses are full. So I'm going to sit here for five or ten. Nice and sensible, you know. Well, we're 20 minutes early. Great flight, bit bumpy. Landing was a bit bumpy, but um, fantastic again through Liverpool. And I just wait uh, the service. This ends as good, and Andrew's waiting for me. We shall see. Hey, well, guys, I'm here, and look who's with me. He was at the airport waiting. Yeah. In a nice new car that I haven't seen before. The Skoda Kodiak. Yeah, yeah, wow. New but I wanted to film at the airport, but the guy was moving us on quite quickly. So I was through security in no time. And we're being here. I should have landed at 10 to 7. It's now 10 past 7. And I'm yeah, back uh, done and everything. I'm back Put your done. Suitcase in. But I had, I've got something to ask you all, right? Right. Both ways, I, I was in row 17 and oh. I got on the plane. At the rear coming yeah and i thought oh, these, these stairs are nowhere near as steep because some of those steps with my hip and whatever and, I, and it was over 10 kilos the case so coming back i waited and i got off in the rear and i think now i might be wrong i think the rear has got less steep staircase to get off I've never heard of this before, but I'm no, sure I, someone will let us know in the comments. In the comments, please, can you either argue with me, confirm it, or what? But I do feel it was a lot easier carrying, carrying with... with. Is this like peak peak travel day? Yeah, yeah. You know, just, 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 this How is, steep are your stairs to well, your plane? Well, well, it is, because when you come through Liverpool, there's nothing else to talk about, is there? Well, there's no dramas. There's no there. dramas in Liverpool whatsoever. Please <laughs> questions how steep are your stairs? So answers in the uh, comments down below, please. I do feel that's how it is. So here we are. It's he tells me now I've got to get changed and we're going change, live. Live stream. Yeah, Chinese restaurants. So um, I hope you lovely, enjoyed lovely. the travel day. We had a lovely bumpy landing, which I tried to film. Um, I don't know how that will come out yet. I'm we'll sure see. I'll find out. I'm sure I'll find out. <laughs> Along it's, with the steep your stairs. It's, are. It's, 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 I left. McGull at midday and I'm here at 10 past 7. It's not bad. Isn't that good? Not bad. Absolutely. Right, so I'll break off there because I've now got to go live with him. So, um, there you go. You've got your nice view back. Sunset and, behind. And, and we've had a little look in the bathroom. It, there's, there's no smell there. It's, no, uh, it's well, actually dried out. Dried and out. Day, so it's, it has worked, shutting off the bathroom and not using it. Uh, definitely. As, uh, there's plainly issues with those pipes. So, we will we'll watch, we will film what we uncover, even when our man turns up. Yeah, we will film the repair, I'll show you yeah. what's gone on. I won't get whatever. a Tenerife shrug off him, a Tenerife salute will I? Don't think so. You know, is, is it going to be one of them, oh, maybe, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. We'll if, see. He, if he turns up, you'll see a happy, happy MG, I tell you. Yeah, so he gets the kangaroo out and starts ripping your floor up. I don't care, I just want it fixing. I just want it fixing, I really don't care. So I've got a whole evening ahead now. Apparently we're going, where are we going? Chinese? Ritana and an overseas, yeah. Ritana and Chinese. And uh, so, well, I can't say what's the live because this is going to be edited. Well, yeah, so the live will already be out if yeah. you want to check it out. There you go. You'll see plenty of me in the next 10 days anyway. I'm sure we will. I'm sure we'll you will. She can't wear that new shirt. Like, jeez. <laughs> Catherine bought me this shirt. Well, like, even like it's casual is not what, casual, is it? What do you think? Technicals. <laughs> very scouse, isn't it? It's very, um, it's like scouse disco, like nightclub vibes. It's all wet. 
It's I like a disco. It, I thought like, it was like a, a sporty toned down. All the squares are like, you know, like the M DJ the bars, cheek. like the music bars, and they go up and down with the beats going. Mum and Catherine were convinced that you'd like this, being blue and everything. Mm. I've got to wear something blue tomorrow night, mate. We've got, a, we've got an evening ahead of us. Sure, I'm just going to go to bed and skip it. <laughs> I'm going to, I've brought some Valium with me. <laughs> You're going to need more than that. Hey, it's not over till the fat lady sings. Right. And she's got to sing three more games yet. Right. Right, okay. okay. Um, and City looked beatable yesterday. Le oh, Leeds, yeah, Leeds yeah. nearly I mean, did them. Yeah, for sure, yeah. <laughs> oh, Big Sam's tactics, yeah. Right, we're off for the Chinese. Thanks for your company all day. And Make I'll sure you hit the subscribe, vlog. hit the uh, thumbs up. Please, I will please. leave the link to at Dad's apartment as well down in the oh, description yes, if you yes. want to check it out. And you can follow what happens here, if it happens, if better had, uh, over the next week or two. I'm sure we will. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye.